What's up, guys? Welcome back. I said broadcasting coming back to you guys again here today for the cutoff race. Um, this is big. 80 laps here at Kansas. Um, it's the cutoff race. Let me just tell you, points are close. Suarez is last on the grid, and he's minus 13. Um, Gibbs is 15th on the grid, comes in minus 7. Harvick minus 5. Then right on the cut line, um, uh, who is it? Bubba. Bubba Wallace comes in minus 1, I think. Yeah, Bubba comes in minus 1. Brad Keselowski and Chase Elliott, after a good race last week, and then I don't know what happened on pit road, but he got a bad finish. Elliott and Keselowski come in plus one. Reddick plus two. Logano plus five. Blaney plus six. And then everyone else is plus 16 or more. Now, unless you're plus 30-something points, you're not locked in. You know, but Bush plus 16. Byron plus 21. Pretty much in a good position. You know, everyone else is locked in. Hamlin's locked in on points. Larson, Chastain, and then, of course, Bell and Truex locked in on wins. So now that we got all that covered, let's go in here. Qualifying matters more now than it has all season. Drivers, Chastain, Bell, Truex, Larson, Blaney. There's Logano. Um, where's Elliott? Ah, 16th. Not good. Worst qualifying effort all playoffs so far. Is anybody down and out? So it looks like Elliott's the worst of the playoff drivers. Yikes. And he's 16th. So all the playoff guys are inside the top 16. So Suarez 12th, he needs a good run. Gibbs needs a Harvick and Gibbs. It's pretty much Bubba versus Kozlowski and Elliott. And look where all three of them are. Elliott could have came into this race plus much more. He's run very well the last seven or eight races. Could he get eliminated in the first round? We will see. As Chastain, Bell, Truex, Larson, Blaney, Logano, Bush, Byron, Hamlin. Most of those guys are in a pretty decent position. Logano and Blaney plus five, plus six. Um, but as long as they finish right where they are, they will, they will be fine. Let's go to the one of Chastain, and let's get this show on the road. First cutoff race all season. Here we go. Green flag, Chastain off to a good jump. We got to go back and watch that cut line. Go back to Busher. Busher's right behind it. All right, here we are. Elliott can't afford to lose spots here. Neither can Wallace. So Kozlowski, remember, pretty much the best finisher of these three will get in unless Gibbs can get seven points or Harvick can get five points on them. Suarez, minus 13, probably in a must win. But... Right now, Kozlowski's got it. Harvick in 10th right now. One, two, three. Only three spots on Kozlowski. He needs a few more. Gibbs needs to get up there and run a little, you know, even better. We're probably not going to watch the race for the lead too much. Go to spectator mode. Again, we have not seen a wreck in the playoffs, so a wreck can obviously throw a you know, that's, that's really the only thing that's really holding Byron or Bush. If they get into a wreck, their chances could be in jeopardy. You know, Reddick comes into this thing only plus two. A lot of clouds here, dark clouds around here. Wonder if rain's in the forecast. Elliott, 16th, still the worst of the playoff drivers, all 15 of them in front of him. Will we see a Hendrick car get eliminated in the first round? Would that, that would be a very disappointment of a season for Elliott. Hasn't won all season, and that really could bite him. Those would be five points right now. Elliott, 16th, this is the worst he's run in probably eight, ten races. Like, not good. Bubba Wallace right now also in the negatives needs to beat... Um, Brad Keselowski, of course, Reddick only plus two. And all these guys are the four or five worst running playoff cars. You know, can Harvick get up here, get by Logano, get by Byron? Next thing you know, Harvick could be in. 
Gibbs. He needs a few more spots, and he's losing one to Tyler Reddick right now. Had Elliott been able to close out the race last week, he'd be in a much better situation. Elliott's one point out right now. He's only one point behind Wallace. Wallace is in by one point. This is going to be the battle, it looks like, as Kislowski and Reddick get a decent gap over these guys. They can't let Harvick get too far out there, though. So right now, I would say it's Reddick 11th, Kislowski 12th on the grid. And Wallace Elliott Harvick, or Wallace Harvick Elliott, something like that. They're racing up here. Reddick's on the move. Reddick is basically telling everybody he wants to move on to the round of 12. He also, along with Elliott and Byron, Byron obviously still has a decent cushion because he's, you know, won races all season. And what's going on up here with Blaney? Losing some spots, bad set of corners. Reddick up to 10th on his way forward. As we look back here, nothing's really changing. Elliott now two positions behind Wallace. He's only plus one. He cannot afford um, for Wallace to beat him in this race. Oh, Wallace misses that corner. You see right in the middle of the corner, that car wiggled big. The 99 underneath him, Elliott right there also. He was trying to get underneath Kevin Harvick. Losing a spot to Suarez, and now Elliott takes it. And now Elliott is in 12th. And right under Suarez he goes, trying to get a point cushion. So he comes in plus one. Right now he's two, trying to get a third point over Wallace. There he's got it. Getting aggressive, plus three now. But now Wallace trying to get back to Suarez, he'll be plus two. That really doesn't matter. Elliot plus one, Wallace minus one. If Wallace beats Elliot by one spot, that means they'll be tied. Wallace would get the tiebreaker for beating him in the race. That's how we're going to do it. A few more spots up is Kislowski and Reddick. But right now, Suarez, Gibbs... Harvick and Wallace are the ones that are not in right now. And now Elliott right up to the bumper of Harvick. Harvick needs to beat Elliott and Kozlowski by five points and needs to beat Wallace by four. Suarez virtually in a must win. Comes in minus 13. Running 16th. Worst of the playoffs drivers. All 16 inside the top 16. They've all brought their A game. And they are driving off. They've got three seconds over 17th. So it's going to be a race between the 16 playoff drivers straight up. Harvick needs five. Gibbs needs a whole seven points. I would say those two. I mean, if they don't finish inside the top five, they're probably going to be eliminated. They could find themselves a must-win situation. As you know, if the guys they got to beat move up. Wallace misses it a little bit again. Suarez on him. Starting to get a gap between the top 10. Top 10's kind of driving away. This group of cars here, really close together though. Kozlowski underneath Gibbs. Elliott looking under Harvick. Harvick looking underneath Gibbs. Kind of a maybe a block.
This is going to be big if Elliott can get a few more cars between himself and Wallace. It's pretty much, it's Kozlowski and Elliott versus, and Wallace. It's literally those three straight up racing each other. And two of those three are going to get in unless Harvick or Gibbs have something to say about it. And right now they don't. Or if Suarez can, can win. So another car between them. Elliott up to the 13th spot. If Elliott can get up there and get by Kozlowski, then he could leave it between the 6 and the 23 to race. But right now, Kozlowski has it between the 9 and the 23. Is now, Elliott has Gibbs underneath him. Elliott going to get a good run off this corner. Should get clear. He is. He needs to get a run get underneath this 4. Top 10 are gone. And Reddick's him up to ninth. So, Reddick looking like he's going to get in. You know, he came into this thing only plus 2, but he's doing what he's got to do. He's driving off from this group of cars here. Elliott looking underneath Harvick. Not going to quite have the position. Wallace going to need to get aggressive. He needs to get by Ty Gibbs. Harvick now trying to get by Kozlowski. So now one straight up now Elliott and Kozlowski. Is Elliott going to look underneath him? No, Kozlowski going to get in line. Back underneath Harvick. Three drivers going for two spots. Brad Kozlowski and Elliott come into this thing tied, both plus one. Wallace comes in minus one, and all three of them are together. Elliott underneath Kozlowski. Wallace is on both of their tails. This is going to be the playoff battle right here. Now Wallace trying to get by Kozlowski, and now... Oh, he hits the apron, though. If Wallace can get by Kozlowski, Kozlowski will be the one out. It'll be Elliott and Wallace in. But he hit the apron, screwed up, the six back in front of him. So now it's the nine and the six that are the two in. Harvick, he needed to get up there and get by five, six cars, and then, you know, then, then he'll move into that and give seven cars. Obviously, Suarez, 13, that's what I'm saying. Potential must win situation for these for those three guys. You know, none of these things, none of these positions mean anything to Harvick, Gibbs, or Suarez unless they can get up there and get five more. Elliott now getting by Harvick and trying to move into the 11th spot. Gonna wash up a little bit. Harvick fighting tough on the outside. One point seven back from the next closest car, which is Blaney. It looks like there's a group of cars of four of them. It's Bush, Reddick, Logano, and Blaney. That has about about one and a half to two seconds on this group of cars. And these guys are obviously racing. They've got a lot on the line here. Of course lap traffic can make a difference as William Byron has the lead. We haven't really talked about that a whole lot. Typically we're all over that. William Byron leads this race currently with Truex, Bell, Larson, and Hamlin the top five. All those guys pretty much in. Chastain, that those six cars are gone. Harvick now back underneath Elliott. Kozlowski and Wallace, of course, they're both going to dive underneath and look. Right now it's the nine and the six that are the two in. Another good run off the corner by Elliott. Try to get to the outside of the four. Going to get back in line now, so Wallace still the one out. These guys really could ride. There's really nothing to do here for these guys as Elliott looks underneath the four again. Really nothing to do here until pit stops. Nothing to really race for other than keep in touch with your two guys that you got to beat. Who is going to get in? Now Wallace slips again. That car not handling great. Gibbs trying to get underneath him. He might even be underneath him. Nope. Wallace back in front of him. Wallace now aggressive, looking underneath the six. The six is going to get defensive. The 23 poking his nose in there. 
He's going to take the spot. Or he's going to try. The six, a good run off the corner. He's going to stay clear. And for another lap, Elliott and Kozlowski still the two, the last two into the round of 12. Wallace, the first one out right now. As good as the nine and as good as the six has run in the round of 16, still might not be good enough. This is where Elliott winning a race is going to hurt him. Five bonus points that he would have. He'd probably be in the same boat as the 45 car right now. Uh, or Logano or Blaney having five, six points. That's what he'd have. He'd have an extra five points on this cut line. But instead, it's the other way around. Kozlowski and Wallace both have one win this season. That's five points advantage they have over the nine. And it could pay dividends. Elliott comes in plus one rather than, you know, plus six, plus 11, plus 16. All those wins that he does not have playing against him right now. Kozlowski and Wallace fortunate to get a win. They wouldn't even be in the playoffs if it wasn't for a win. It would be Chris Buescher and Alex Bowman. They outpointed Kozlowski and Wallace, but they didn't have a win. Harvick back underneath Elliott. Elliott a good run off the corner. Harvick can't quite stick it. Elliott's clear. Harvick staying low, though, down the back straightaway. Kozlowski to his outside. Wallace going to try and get underneath the six. Going to do it, but can he maintain the position off? No. Six is clear again. This has got to be frustrating for Harvick and Gibbs and Suarez, knowing they're, they, they see the guys that they got to beat. They're racing the guys that they got to beat. Just nothing, each position for them doesn't matter unless they're going to, like I said earlier, get a whole bunch more because that's what they need is a whole bunch more. Harvick underneath the nine. Elliot going to give him room. Elliot going to get a big run off this corner. He's going to get clear of the four car again. Harvick trying to stay underneath, not going to be able to do it. Wallace under fire by Gibbs and Suarez. Gibbs is going to get by Wallace. Suarez almost into him. And S Wallace going to lose a few more spots. Kozlowski and Harvick moving around a lot down the back straightaway. Harvick underneath Elliott again. Elliott's been really good with the momentum off. Not going to get it that time. Harvick underneath. Of course, I can only imagine the six going to try and get under him next, and he is. These cars are moving around a lot. Ooh, Kozlowski misses the corner a little bit. It's going to give Elliott an opportunity to slide back in. He's going to do it. We'll check in on the lead again. Looks like Martin Truex Jr. is taking the lead now. Bell, Byron, Larson, Hamlin, and Chastain. Still under a blanket. 2.3 seconds separating this group of cars from the next group. Obviously, the more cars they catch, if they can do it, um, the more points available, obviously. So, you know, again, Ken Bowman, Busher, Stenhouse, can that group of cars run these guys down? More positions to gain or lose. Makes a difference. Each position matters when you're plus one. And when you got four, five, six guys within two or three points, and it's the cut line, which it is, it's important. Elliott back underneath Harvick. Kozlowski and Gibbs on him. Wallace and Suarez. Ooh, almost contact there. Harvick to the outside. Kozlowski on the apron. Going to allow Harvick to get in back behind Elliott. It's a good thing I know what the point situation is because these guys, each position matters. So we got to call it like each position matters because it does. We're at the point in the season, championship hopes are done for four guys after this race. Harvick back underneath Elliott again in his final season. Harvick's final season. Barry will be in that car next season. Is Harvick going to go out in the round of 16 in his final season? Kozlowski underneath the nine, not quite going to do it. That forces Gibbs high. And Wallace, these guys are racing up here. Wallace underneath Gibbs. You guys can see the next group of cars up there. These guys are pretty far back. And they're not really gaining. LA back underneath Harvick, doing everything he can. 
Come into five laps from halfway. Pit stops is going to be crucially important. With as close as these three guys are, pit stops are going to be astronomically, probably the most important pit stop of the season for these guys. Unless they end up in this situation next round or the round after, or the round after, um, you know, trying to get round of 12 into eight, round of eight into the championship four, obviously championship four itself. Oh, we got a wreck! Brad Keselowski, Bubba Wallace! Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Caution's out! What the heck? I'm at a loss for words. Brad Keselowski, Bubba Wallace... And the first wreck of the playoffs is the two drivers on the cut. And this just opened the door entirely for Kevin Harvick, Ty Gibbs, and even Suarez now. What the heck happened? Where is this going to put them? They both got a decent amount of damage, but they both should be able to continue. This is, unless something happens to the 9, this is a gimme for him to get in. Let's go back and watch it. What the heck? Was this Ty Gibbs' fault? Right here, the 6, trying to get underneath the 9, checked up, misses the corner entirely. Then Gibbs turns him down into the 23, hard hits. And I said this opens the door for Ty Gibbs, but heck, he wrecked. So three of our guys on the cut line. I can't even explain what happens to the cut line now. Now it's hard for me to even follow. What the heck? The nine's got damage. His back end's got damage. What happened to the nine? He's got a little bit of front end damage too. Oh my gosh. They all wreck getting on to pit road. Everybody under caution getting down to pit road. Harvick and Elliot coming in high. Oh no, Daniel Suarez. Oh my gosh. So now all five of our playoff drivers are wrecked. Daniel Suarez is doing everything he can to get into the playoffs, clearly. Runs through Elliott, who hits Harvick. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Episode, race of the year, episode of the year. Somehow, Gibbs and Wallace and Kozlowski are still inside the top 20. They're ahead of the nine now. And Suarez is doing everything he can to get in, wrecking all of his opponents. Oh, my gosh. Burton is out. Gillen's out. Something happened to them. They may have been involved in that incident somehow, some way. Not sure. And cutoff race has taken a massive turn. Truex leads, so nothing's going on at the front that's going to throw this thing out of proportion. Not yet. Martin Schiff Jr. leads. So now we got to go through here and look. There's Suarez. There's Gibbs, who somehow didn't lose very much. Back here's the nine. Back here's the four. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Talk about a crazy cutoff race. All five drivers around the cut. No, all six of them. Kozlowski, Elliott, Wallace, Harvick, Gibbs, Suarez. All six of them.
Looks like Keselowski just missed turn three and four. And Gibbs went in, turned him down into the 23, turned all of them up into the wall. And then going into pit road, Daniel Suarez absolutely runs through Chase Elliott, who runs into Harvick and virtually takes out every... Well, all of his competition now has been thrown out the window, but he comes in minus 13, so he's actually still out by quite a bit, as he's only 12th. Elliott going to restart 22nd. Harvick 23rd. So as the way it stands, Wallace and Keselowski are the two in. One, two, three. Elliot would be minus four. Harvick minus ten from the way it is now. Gibbs, like minus five. And Suarez is still like minus nine, minus ten. The way it stands now. Oh my gosh. Let's go to Truex. Going green right here, so we got to go back and watch this. I don't really care about what's going on in the front right now. This has been insane. Suarez clearly slow. Not a great restart. Oh, Suarez does not have his hood. So his hood has been taken off of his car because of the amount of damage. So he's going to be slowing off the pace. And Bubba Wallace doesn't have his hood. That's not good. Kozlowski looks like he'll be all right. Elliot has been passed by Harvick and losing spots. So this is changing drastically already. Ty Dillon right now is trying to pass Kozlowski. Kozlowski, a lot of rear end damage. This is going to be insane the way this thing finishes. This could actually fall into the wheelhouse. Well, I mean, there's no guy to take advantage of it because all of them have been wrecked. But they're all still in it. So the way it stands, Elliot back to 24th, Harvick 22nd, Kozlowski and Wallace losing spots, Suarez... This is going to change big time, though, on this lap. Suarez is really slow. All right, 16th, 17th, 21st, 25th. Back at the front of the field, Truex trying to win his seventh race of the season. So Ty Gibbs actually trying to take advantage of it, and he could be in right now. One, he's the only one with no damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, right now, Ty Gibbs and Bubble Wallace are the two that are in. There's a lot of spots in front of Gibbs here. So now this is no longer a race of the nine versus the six versus the 23. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What the heck? So right here is the 9 and the 6. So now the 6 has lost the spot to Chase Elliott. Elliott getting aggressive, trying to get underneath the 10. 10 tried to get in front of him, the 9 not having it. And now he's going to get to Bubba Wallace. So he's up to 22nd. But he has his hood. So he's not going to quite be as slow. So there's Wallace and Suarez. So right here, this could be the battle for the transfer spot. As Gibbs right now would be in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. No, right now, Gibbs who comes in minus 7 and Harvick who comes in minus 5 are the two that are in. And Elliot's on a mission trying to change that. Elliot is coming. Now it's Gibbs and uh, and Elliot. Because Elliot is one, two. He's only four spots behind Harvick. So now Harvick is minus one to Elliot. Sorry, so let me make sense of all this. Tenth on the grid is Reddick, plus a lot. Eleventh on the grid right now is Ty Gibbs. Gibbs is tied with Elliott. So those two are tied for 11th and 12th. 
I'm doing all this in my head. 13th is Harvick, minus one. He needs to beat Elliott by five spots. He's only ahead by four, so he's minus one. Remember, Elliott and Kislowski came in tied. Wallace minus one. So even if they are to tie each other, it comes down to finishing position. So the best finisher between Wallace, Elliott, and Kislowski is how they finish. So right now it's Elliott, 20th. Wallace, 21st. Kislowski back to 28th. So that's the running order then. So you got Gibbs and Elliott, plus one. Harvick, minus one. Wallace, minus one, because he's one spot behind Elliott. And then Kozlowski's pretty much out of the picture. He needs to beat these guys, and he's back in 28th. Suarez is in a must-win virtually, as he's 22nd, not going to do it. Um, I think that's everybody. Wallace back to 22nd. Elliott up to 19th, trying to go for 18th here. Elliott's on a mission. He's lucky he doesn't have any more damage from Suarez killing him on pit road. Byron now back to the lead. Him and Shurex look like they've driven off from everybody else. Two seconds over Bell and Larson, who has two seconds over Reddick, Hamlin and Logano, and Chastain and Busher. And, you know, it's a pretty long train at that point. All right. So Gibbs, so now Elliott is actually 11th on the grid. Because remember, he has seven points over Gibbs. And Gibbs is one, two, three, four, five points, five spots ahead. Harvick, one, two, three. So right now, Elliott is 11th. And right now, Harvick and Gibbs are tied. Because Gibbs is two points, remember, minus seven, minus five. He's two spots ahead, so that makes him even. Gibbs has the spot because he's running ahead. So Gibbs and Harvick are actually plus zero, minus zero. As Wallace is 23rd, Kozlowski back to 30th. Unbelievable. The fact that Harvick or Gibbs even have a shot right now is insane. Minus five, minus seven, I thought they were done. Unless they get a top five run and Elliott and Kozlowski run 15th through 20th. But no, they're running 13th and uh, 15th, and, you know, Wallace and 23rd and Kozlowski 30th, so it gives them a shot. Harvick can't finish more than one spot behind Gibbs. Otherwise, Gibbs will get him. Or, sorry, it's the, yeah, yeah. That, that's right. So now Elliott, all the way up to 17th here. I'm sure Spotter keeping him. On point with what's going on with the points. He's in a pretty good spot. Remember, Reddit came in plus two. He's running sixth. He's fine. Um, remember, Blaney and Logano came in plus five and plus six. They're seventh and tenth. They're fine. Obviously, everybody else is fine. Kyle Busch plus 16. Byron plus 21. With the where they're running, they're fine. Everyone else is literally locked in on points. You look at Hamlin, Larson. And Chastain. Suarez back to 29th. And Kozlowski 30th. Unbelievable. If Gibbs manages to get into the playoffs after that wreck with Wallace and Kozlowski. Because that's who he's fighting for pretty much to get in. Right now he's fighting with Harvick. Because he eliminated uh, Kozlowski and Wallace. So... He virtually eliminated them from the battle, and I'm sure Elliot's happy with that. And then Suarez tried to eliminate Elliot and Harvick, and right now Elliot's in, and Harvick is again tied with Gibbs on points, but Gibbs has him in the race by two spots. So that might actually be the battle to watch then, as Elliot is plus pretty many points at this point. He can just ride. He's good. The battle to watch is Gibbs and Harvick. And you guys can see there's a few lap cars between them. Newman, um, Cindric is for position. So this could be the battle here. Harvick versus Gibbs to try and get into the round of 12. Unless Kozlowski and Wallace find something as they're 28th and 29th. Suarez 30th. They obviously have a lot of damage. You know, now if something happens, I mean, I'll probably lose it because I won't be able to keep track on points anymore. But if Kyle Busch manages to wreck, you know, plus 16... I think even if Byron wrecks, he might be okay. 
I mean, with those guys running 30th, it might actually be all right. But if if something like that happens where Byron or, or Kyle Busch wrecks, I'm going to be lost on points. I'm surprised I kept track of it as well as I have this far. Gap is closing between Gibbs and Harvick. Nobody between them now. They're going to be 13th and, or what, 14th and 15th here. Gibbs trying to get by Cindric. Cindric got by him on the outside. Cindric has been quiet this season. Gibbs sends it in, almost doors him, getting aggressive, sees that four coming, knows that's who he's got to be. It's between those two now. Ty Gibbs versus Harvick. Again, Elliott currently 11th on the grid. Remember, Harvick doesn't need to beat Gibbs. He just needs to finish within one spot of Gibbs. If he finishes two spots behind Gibbs or more, Gibbs gets him. But if he finishes on his tail, that's the farthest behind Gibbs he can finish. And Gibbs trying to put another car between them. Noah Gregson. That's not even for position, though, so that doesn't do anything other than puts a car between them. Harvick needs to get by Austin Sendrick. Come into uh, 18 to go. Elliot can relax. He's got a whole... 11 positions, 11 and 12 positions over Wallace and Kozlowski. And he's got a few points over Harvick and Gibbs. Remember, Gibbs needs to beat Elliott by seven spots, and Harvick needs to beat him by five. Harvick's only ahead by two, and Gibbs is only ahead by five. So he's plus two over Gibbs and plus three over Harvick or whatever it is, something close to that. Nobody else in front of Ty Gibbs for a couple seconds. So Gibbs probably isn't going any further than 12th. So now what he's got to pray is that Kevin Harvick doesn't finish 13th. Harvick is in a big fight right now with Michael McDowell, and he just got by Austin Sendrick. Gregson, you see on the screen in the 42, he's a lap car. Doesn't really mean anything. Not really in this fight, other than just a car in the way. An obstacle. A potential wreck. That's the only thing Harvick has to fear with Gregson. He's got to get by McDowell, who he's all over. And obviously, Cindric is still right there. The rookie Ty Gibbs versus the veteran Kevin Harvick in his final season to get into the round of 12. As Wallace and Kozlowski, they're 28th, 29th in a wreck. Both of them are out right now. Suarez comes in virtually in a must win. The way this race has gone, he could finish 5th and probably get in, but 30th. Those three are pretty much out unless something crazy happens with the guys we're talking about here. It's Elliott plus 3, 4, 5 spots. He just can't lose any spots, and he's got seconds over the next guy behind him. He's been on the uprise. He's flying through the field. He's only a couple seconds behind Gibbs and Harvick. If something doesn't happen, Elliott's good. It is Ty Gibbs versus Harvick, and McDowell has gotten by both of them. So right now, Harvick, remember, Harvick only needs to finish on Gibbs' tail. If he finishes two spots behind Gibbs, he's done. He can finish on his tail, or obviously he can beat Gibbs. Right now, even though the 42 is in between them, I'll keep saying it, he's a lap car. Harvick is one position behind Gibbs. So right now, Harvick's in, but that's until if Gibbs can get by McDowell... So now Gibbs has gotten by. He's clear almost to McDowell, and now Gibbs has it. Harvick needs to get by McDowell. 13 to go. Coming to 12 to go this time by. Harvick and Gibbs are really close. Nobody in front of Gibbs. Virtually four seconds. 
between Kyle Busch and Gibbs, 11th and 12th. Gibbs has just got to defend the guys behind him and hope that Sindrick, Bowman, or McDowell, or somebody can uh, get between Gibbs and Harvick. And that's the only way Harvick, or that's the only way Gibbs is going to get in. McDowell going past Gibbs here. Now there's no cars for position. Gibbs battling back on the outside. So now Gibbs back into that 12th spot in points. End of the race. Whew. Talk about every point matters. Holy crap. And each round from here on out, it's probably only going to get tighter. If I'm being honest, it's probably only going to get tighter. And you probably cannot afford a bad race. And you clearly can't afford a bad race here in the round of 16. But the round of 12, especially the round of 8. I mean, you finish outside the top 10 one race, you might be done. Harvick now back into the transfer spot. Again, the 42 is a lap down. Noah Gregson. Junior. Huh? Junior's ready. Okay. Bubba Wallace, Brad Kozlowski, they've got to be super frustrated. Daniel Suarez, I'm sure they're all frustrated. So close to getting into the round of 12 for Wallace and Kozlowski. A wreck took them both out. Elliott had to have been furious. Same with Harvick when Suarez ran through both of them. Clearly, it costed Suarez any chance he had of getting in because he had damage on the front end, had to fix it. He has no hood. His car's slow, and he's running 30th right now, while Harvick and Elliott are the last two drivers in right now. The battle here, Gibbs versus Harvick. It's got to be a helpless feeling for Gibbs because he's beaten Harvick, but he needs to beat him by one more spot. And if, God forbid he loses a spot to Harvick. I mean, not only does he have to get back by Harvick, but again, Sindrick, Bowman, or McDowell has to get in between them. And Sindrick is all over Harvick. Sindrick could be the one to do it. Been a disappointment year for Sendrick. Still outside the top 20 in points. Here we go. Harvick looking underneath Gibbs. Gibbs trying to close the door. Harvick is there. All Harvick needs to do is finish within one spot of Gibbs. And now he's trying to get by him. And he's going to try and bring the two car with. And here comes Bowman into this battle. a good thing I paid attention to the points coming into this one because I'd be lost. So right now, Chase Elliott and Kevin Harvick are the last two drivers into this round of 12. Ty Gibbs facing elimination. The guy he's got to beat right in front of him and he needs the, one of those three cars behind him to finish in front of Harvick as well. Five to go. Gibbs getting by Harvick, being aggressive. Gibbs did what he had to do. Sindrick trying to go with. Harvick needs to have a good corner around here on the outside. He can't afford to lose a spot. He does, but Sindrick under Gibbs also. So Gibbs has it. Now Harvick has it. Now Harvick trying to go by Gibbs. And Gibbs is going to lose a couple spots. Sendrick, Harvick, Bowman all by him. Now McDowell. Four to go. You can see at the bottom of the screen there. Suarez is falling a lap down. Gibbs has gotten back by McDowell here with three to go. Playoff chances kind of dwindling here in front of rookie Ty Gibbs as Kevin Harvick the veteran in his final season now is the last guy into the round of 12 and it's in his control at this point as he misses the corner big time Bowman and Sindrick gonna get by 
And now nobody is between Harvick and Gibbs. White flag. Or no, sorry, two to go, two to go. So the pressure's back on. He just needs to finish within one spot of Gibbs. Harvick goes back by Cindric. Bowman's still in front of all of them. Oh, Gibbs kind of bobbles there in the corner. Collects it back, though. He's in trouble, though. I don't know. As long as Harvick doesn't miss the corner again. White flag is in the air. Ross Chastain leads. Going for his sixth win. Busher up to second. Oh, Harvick, Bowman, Cindric, all of them high. Oh, I thought Cindric was going to get into him. And Ross Chastain wins here at Kansas. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened with the nine? Bo Wallace is in front of him. And the six is in front of him. Wallace is out. What the heck? Harvick gets seventh? What the heck? Pit stops or something through the end of this race off. Let's go back and watch some footage here. I am very lost because I'm not sure. Yeah, I came down pit road. I'm not sure what we're going to do here is Wallace is out and he's 22nd. Kozlowski's 13th. Harvick. Gibbs. So is it Harvick and Kozlowski? Where's Reddick? I'm not sure how we're going to. We'll do the points and we'll figure it out. But I'm not sure how this one's going to go down, guys. I can't tell you who's in and who's out. I can't because I'm not sure. You guys will see it in the standings. I'm a little lost right now. But uh, we will see. Peace.